Good morning authors, Steve with Viva Purpose and I'm back with another tutorial today on Facebook premieres. So this is a new feature that uh, Facebook has recently rolled out and it's a great way to grow organic traffic. Okay, So if you look here under Facebook business, it's talking about premieres. You can just do a search for uh, Facebook premieres and it'll come up, requirements. And it lets you schedule a de and debut videos as live moments. So it's treated much like a live video as far as algorithms and things like that. The longer your video is, the more it's able to go out and find people to pull into that video while it is live or being premiered. It does not have to be a live video. It can be one you've pre-recorded and you're uploading it, but Facebook is going to treat it similar to a live uh, video. So after the broadcast, the video will be saved on your page just like a normal video upload. Okay. Previous live videos cannot be premiered, so you can't re-upload something that you've done before. However, if you've edited it, repackaged it, you're good to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Syndicated series that have been previously viewed, um, they may only premiere their first upload to Facebook. Uh, movies previously released on the internet cannot be premiered. So these are their guidelines here. It has to be basically a new video or something that's been repackaged and has uh, some major changes to it. Okay, you can a premiere has to be scheduled at least 10 minutes in advance, and 10 minutes is going to be cutting it close. You'll see sometimes um, Facebook is still working out some of these issues, and so it's taken a while to process your video. So, and you also want a longer lead time so Facebook has a chance to go out and find a bigger audience for you. So, try and get a, a further in advance a good lead time. Okay. Um, you won't be able to launch immediately, so plan ahead. They can be scheduled up to seven days in the future. That's huge. So you can plan out a whole week of premieres and get a streak going if you have the backlog of videos, and it's a great way to kind of gain momentum and get kind of a surge. The uh, pages can schedule more than one premiere at the same time. So that's what I'm saying. You can line, up, line them up um, throughout the week or even a couple of days, however you want to do it. Here's your video requirements. 30 seconds long, 30 frames per second. MP4 is the suggested format, um, H.264 codec, if you know that kind of stuff. Um, 1920 by 1080 is the largest. It cannot be any larger than this, these dimensions right here. Uh, maximum size is 10 gigabytes. That's what it is, 10 gigabytes. You cannot exceed the 10 gigabyte file size, okay? And then you schedule it. Um, you upload videos. You publish it. You select Premiere. I'm going to go through all of this for you. And you can actually go back and edit your premiere if you want to. However, Facebook's been a little glitchy in this, so you want to try and get it right the first time as much as possible. Okay? After your premiere, you can go back and go through it as well. Now, when you launch a premiere, you really want to be online when that premiere goes live. And because you're going to be able to interact in the chat, similar to a live video, and you're going to have people come on and be able to speak, and you're going to be able to communicate with them in the chat just as if it were a live video and have a dialogue that goes back and forth that way. All right, so let's jump in and take a look. So you're going to be doing this on a page. Now this can be your author page, it can be a product page, something like that. It does not work for groups and it does not work for profiles. So it must be a business page, okay? A author page or a product page, something like that. So this is our Viva Purpose page here. And what you're going to do is you're going to go just like you're going to post a regular post or a video. You're going to click on the photo or video. And then once that loads, it launches this screen here. And you're going to pull up the upload photos or videos. Now I have this training video here that I pre-recorded there. It's a short video, so it'll do upload fast for us. Because um, that is key. Longer videos obviously take a longer time. So you're going to put your title here. This is my test premiere. Oops, video. And then you're going to put a description. Now you want to be very thorough with your description and you want to have a lot of the, the keywords, key terms in there and make it um, really engaging with the audience. Make them want to view your video because this is kind of your sales pitch to get them to get in and watch your video. So make sure you, you put in a good video, the description. So, but right now, um, this video is awesome. We are learning so much. Okay, so you're going to want to really fill that out. Now, I like to tag myself in the videos. That way um, I can reference them, cross-post them, things like that. So if you start typing in there, um, 
you'll be able to find yourself and there I am. I also try to do a check-in. Um, so I check into where I'm at right now. I'm in Tamarindo, Costa Rica, and so that's great. Now tags. This is where you're going to tag your video. These are the keywords and things along those lines. You are able to, if you start typing, now let's say um, I wanted to do uh, training uh, videos, and it doesn't have one. So you can add a new tag if you want, um, or you can try and go with the suggestions that Facebook will start to give you as you go through your video. So this is a Facebook oops, tutorial. And um, anyway, you can go through and you can search, and there are suggestions at times as well. Okay, so that's your tags. Make sure you put the tags in because that's searchable, and it maxes you out at, um, I think it's, Six or seven, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tags is the maximum you get. Um, and then you want to put in, like I said, relevant tags that are going to be meaningful. I'm just going to take these back out because they're nonsense. Okay. And I'm going to delete this premiere after the tutorial anyway, so it's not super important. Now you notice it's uploading up here. You can get details if you click on that and see it uploading. It's a short video, so it's working out pretty well. You are able to place in a custom thumbnail. So you can make a, a very elaborate, kind of an ad looking um, thumbnail, or you can just do, uh, you, you can select one of them from the video if you don't have it. But if you want to add a custom image, you click there. And then I'm just going to select my profile here. And so that's what the thumbnail would look like. That's just a picture I chose. Um, now, it can auto-generate a picture, or you can choose from a frame within the video as well. So those are other options to kind of customize it. All right, let me move this over here so it's a little out of the way. And the next thing down is subtitles. Now, the subtitles will not load until your, your um, video is finished uploading. Once it's uploading or done uploading, then you're able to select a language, and you can have it auto-generate uh, captions at the bottom if you'd like or you can write your own or upload some. The auto-generate, I'm gonna tell you, is a little bit off. It doesn't usually pick up my words right and it tries to change them into weird things, but um, it, it's a cheat, so you can use it. Polls, polls are pretty great. Um, I like to use polls a lot. It's a great, great, great way to engage with your audience. All you have to do is select create a poll here and it'll launch the poll thing here. Now you ask a question. Um, Aren't these premieres great? And you can say, of course, I love them. And no, I don't like them. Whatever the options. Now these are very short um, fields. As you see, that's the max characters right there. Okay, so you need to keep your answers very short and concise there. Uh, but try to be creative with what the responses you might get from your audience. Uh, so that's how you do that. Now, you can set a start date and an end date. Let me move this up here for you. So you can see right now it's the entire video, okay? And it starts at zero and it ends at the 13 seconds. If you want to, you can grab the end here and drag it and shorten it into where, however much of the video you want. And then that will adjust when the little icon to take the quiz, the poll shows up. And then you can select to viewers can see the results after they vote or not. So if you want them to, great. That's a great way to engage in what people enjoy a lot of times seeing the results of the poll. But other times you may be asking something that you don't want the viewers to see the results of. So that's your option. Click on save poll here at the bottom. And then you just, you'll see your poll there. You can add another one if you'd like. Um, and so, but I'm just going to say done at this time. Give it a second. Okay, so that's polls. Now tracking, this is purely internal here. Okay, so there's, there's really, sometimes I'll put in here my um, Viva Purpose and um, maybe training video. Whatever you need for, this is purely for your organizing your um, 
videos, okay, your premieres. And then 360 director tools, if you upload a 360 video, you get some um, extra options here for those 360 videos. All right, but this is not a 360 video. All right, so we're at 80% here. I'm gonna pause the video for a minute. We'll come back once it's finished uploading there and we'll continue on with the tutorial from there. It shouldn't be but a few minutes, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, and we're back and it is completed 100%. So it is all uploaded, ready to go. We're gonna click on the next button here and here's where we're gonna to get to schedule our premiere. Okay, and you need to make sure you select the right options here. So we're gonna choose next. Now, the publish now is the default. You wanna select premiere, the next one down, and then you're able to schedule it out. So right now, it will, it's recommending 10.30. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. That's a pretty decent lead way. Um, you can do overnight even. I could schedule this for tomorrow. Like they said, anywhere out to seven days. So let's say I wanna schedule it for tomorrow. I want it to be one of the first things in my, my uh, viewers news feed so I'm gonna say maybe 630 in the morning just to make sure I catch them right off the bat um, you can change the image again if you aren't satisfied with it for the premiere okay and then down here are some other so schedule back date and save as draft or your other options so do not choose those make sure you're on premiere and then down here we have um, news feed you can stop it being in the news feed and it won't broadcast it that's a bad idea because you want it in your news feed. You want people to know it's coming up and it's going to give them the option to set a reminder and to um, be reminded to come into the premiere once it launches. Uh, display in watch is good and allow embedding is a yes or a no. It depends on if you want someone else to be able to share your information okay, and embed it in um, their, on their content. I'm trying to get this. There we go. So you unselect it if you don't want third parties to embed your video. Okay, um, I'm gonna just leave it allow embedding right now. Uh, this is to allow all pages in your business manager. We talked about the Facebook business manager. If you have multiple pages, especially if you have an author page and a series page and a book page, a product page, you're able to share it across all of those. Now you cannot do it as a premiere in all of those, but you're able to launch watch parties and launch, um, just share it as a scheduled post or a uh, immediate post in those pages. So I always, almost always allow pages um, in your business manager. You can select specific pages because this, this page right here is also an admin in the group here. And so that's why this one comes up as default. But if this one's checked, that one's already covered anyway. Okay, and you can turn off reactions. So if you don't want people to be able to comment on it for whatever reason, maybe it's a training video and you don't want comments on that in that area, um, you can turn off comments and shares. But for the most part, you're gonna wanna leave that open, okay? Now let's go back. Something is off here to do 27th. So why are we not allowed to publish? Something is missing. So let's go back to the previous page. And this is all video details. We have a title. We have content. That's good. All of our tracking. Yes. So next, Premiere. I'm not sure why, but let me see. Here. Oh, must be between 30 seconds and four hours long. So as you can tell, my premiere was not long enough. I think I only did like a 20 second video. I was trying to keep it short so that we would not have the problem of uploading. Uh, but essentially, you're just going to hit publish and it'll go through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix that and we'll come back and I'll show you how that uh, finalizes. Okay. Okay, and we're back, and we're at 100% now, 100% uploaded. So you can see now, if you go back to the thumbnail here real quick, I could choose a frame within the video if I wanted to, and it would give me the video here to do that, but I'm going to kill that and stick with my profile picture that I just uploaded, okay, for change image. So it is done. We're going to click Next, and here's where we're going to select. I'm going to select the Premiere. I'm going to select, um, I'm actually gonna set this for tomorrow at, like I said, six, we'll just do 6.16 in the morning, sure. That's fine. And then um, make sure I've got my things here, all pages in my manager, and we're going to publish, and here we go. 
So it, sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to load and go ahead and complete the process. Hopefully it goes through right. Like I said, this is kind of a new rollout for Facebook, so they have had some glitches. There's been a ton of traffic right now um, with other people trying to launch premieres and stuff with the special holiday, um, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that stuff. And so the system's getting a little bogged down. So sometimes it has issues, but post is processing. That means it went through. Otherwise, you would get an error message here. So that's great. And so let's take a look here. When you come back to your page, you will see it's processing right here. And you, so you just want to wait until that loads. And in just a few minutes, we'll get a this right here. The premiere announcement was published successfully. And schedule premiere. And if you click on these, you're able to go in and see the post. Now it's still upload or still finishing. And so here's what the post is going to look like. And it would have the full text right up up there. And here's where you can actually get a reminder. So this is going to put a post on your page, on your feed, and then people who are just stumble onto your page or if they get your updates, they're going to be able to see this and then they can click get a reminder and then it'll send them a reminder a few minutes. It's actually like a half an hour before and then a few minutes before it's launching so they have a chance to get on and view your video. So uh, the other thing you can do is go ahead and start putting comments in there to try and start the discussion ahead of time. Hey guys, make sure you tune in. Oh, I'm getting excited, it's getting close, different things like that. You can boost the post through the feed because the post is out there promoting this live viewing of the premiere. So that just gives you time to create a frenzy for that post alone, that video. And so if you do this pretty regularly, you're able to grow organic traffic. And the longer the video and the more you do it, the more consistent you are and the more um, of a streak you have, the more Facebook is going to go ahead and push more people to your posts, your videos, uh, your premieres, all right? So that's how you set up a premiere. Uh, go out, give it a try. I'm sure you're gonna have great luck with it. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, let us know if the video helped out and if there's any parts you're confused on. Also, let us know what kind of response you get on your premieres. If you've seen some good organic traffic or other traffic from your premieres, how they're working out. Make sure you give us a like, a follow, and share the video with someone who could use the information and hope it helped. We'll see you in the next video.